There's a lot of news out there, but not all of it is necessary. This is the Unnecessary News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Jenkins. And I'm Jeff Houghton. Welcome to the Unnecessary News. We start with Oscar Mayer, who has announced a new Ice Dog Sandwich, which is made from hot dog flavored ice cream and mustard flavored ice cream. <laughs> It reminds me of the old song, I scream, you scream, we're all vomiting in the streets. <laughs> oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer ice dog sandwich, because everyone would be vomiting in the streets. So Maloney has a first name, it's vomiting in the streets. <laughs> Speaking of delicious snacks, a Guinness World Record was broken in western Pennsylvania when a traditional wedding cookie table was set with over 50,000 cookies on it. All the guests were sent home with a wedding favor of his and hers monogram diabetes. <laughs> Budget carrier Frontier Airlines recently ran a promotion offering free tickets to anyone with the last name Green to celebrate being named the most eco-friendly airline. Similarly, Spirit Airlines ran a promo giving free tickets to anyone named Crappy Service, No Leg Room, and are we gonna, why is this rattling? <laughs> Speaking of travel, a man in Barcelona was recently arrested for hiding $35,000 worth of cocaine under his toupee. This is a nuanced and complicated story, so we're going to go in depth with some unnecessary commentary. Sarah? Thank you, Jeff. Airport agents became suspicious when the man began to wig out. <laughs> when confronted, the man said, Weave me alone, I have rights. <laughs> then he began to play dumb, saying, Oh, cocaine, I thought you said Rogaine. <laughs> The police responded, sir, we know that is a bald-faced lie. <laughs> <laughs> then the man, since his arrest, has become a spokesman for Just Say No for Men. <laughs> the end. Okay. Um, moving on. An Ohio man was arrested after he pulled a two-foot iguana from his sweatshirt and threw it at the manager of a Perkins family restaurant. <laughs> it's true, true, true news. Um, a judge has ruled that the man is not allowed to brag about the incident. Um, the good news is the iguana has recovered and has been returned to his owners. Um, so we're lucky tonight to have both the man and the iguana with us tonight. Um, so we're gonna begin with the man. Um, welcome, man. It's uh, great to have you here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened? <laughs> it was... Then you should have seen... <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, man. Um, next up, we also have the iguana here. Um, he's been through some trauma, so we're very lucky to have him here with us. Um, Welcome, Iguana. Would you uh, care to comment? <laughs> okay, thank you, Iguana. Iguana and man, everybody. Lucky Charms has announced a new bag of marshmallows featuring just the marshmallows from the cereal, removing the cereal. <laughs> Similarly, Oreos is going to remove the cookies and have just frosted blobs. <laughs> Mike and Ike's has announced a promo of Bag O' Mike's, and Corn Flakes has announced they're removing their cereal as well, and they're calling it milk. <laughs> A Florida woman's first date with a man was cut short by a high-speed chase after the man ran from the police at a routine traffic stop. He told the woman he didn't have a driver's license and did not want to go to jail, so he fled on foot, disappeared in through the woods, and has not been located since. Again, Jeremy? <laughs> 
It's like, come up with a better excuse, dude. <sighs> and finally, a message in a bottle washed ashore in Alaska. It was 50 years old, written in Russian by a Russian sailor. Translated, it said, vote for Nixon, Nixon as believed to be the first instance of election hacking. <laughs> That's the unnecessary news.